what's happening is they're spending all their time in apps. When people want to find a place to go out to dinner, they're not searching. They're going into Yelp. They're using apps to get to data on the internet rather than a generalized search. And this is where the opportunity to deliver advertising is. Not as part of search, but as part of apps. Now, the average iPhone user spends a little over 30 minutes every day using apps. Over 30 minutes every day using apps on their phone. Now, if we said we want to put an ad up every three minutes, let's say, that would be 10 ads per device per day. 10 ads within 30 minutes is about the same as a television show. Right? We're going to soon have 100 million devices. That's a billion ad opportunities per day in the iPhone community and iPod Touch community. One billion ad opportunities per day. This is a pretty serious opportunity. And it's an incredible demographic. But we want to do more than that. We want to change the quality of the advertising as well. Now, we're all familiar with interactive ads on the web, right? That's what they look like. And they're, more, they're interactive, but they are really not capable of delivering emotion, which is why the majority of ad dollars still flow through television, because advertisers can deliver an emotional message through television, right? We know what that's like. What we want to do with iAds is to deliver interaction, but also deliver emotion. So interactive ads have no emotion, some interactivity. And television ads have a lot of emotion, but no interactivity. And we want to be here. We want to be even more interactive than the, webs, than the ads you see on the web. And we want to get some of that emotion from video. So that's what iAds all about. It's emotion plus interactivity. The ads keep you in your app. Now, what's that about? On mobile devices today, when you click on a banner ad, it yanks you out of your app, throws you into a browser, and takes you to the advertiser's web page. You may never find your way back to your app. <laughs> and it's almost impossible to get back to where you left off. So what's the result? People don't click on the ads. Who wants to get yanked out of your app? Because iAd is in the iPhone OS itself, we have figured out how to do interactive and video content without ever taking you out of your app. And the user can return to their app anytime they want. And so we think the result is going to be people are going to be a lot more interested in clicking on these things, because they're not going to pay the penalty of having to find their way back to their app. So it's built right into the iPhone OS. And for developers to add this to their apps is really simple. They can add iAd opportunities to their apps in an afternoon. Apple's going to sell and host the ads. And we're going to give developers an industry standard 60% split of the revenues. So I'd like to show this to you. Now, what we've done is we've mocked up a few ads. We don't have any real ads yet, because this isn't uh, rolled out yet. And what we've done is we've taken a few brands that we love, and we've uh, used them. We've made some ads for them, basically. Oops, excuse me. Now, these folks are not endorsing us in any way. Uh, they haven't even seen this stuff. Uh, we just love these brands and, and, and uh, use them to make some fun ads. So let's say this is an app, this is an app that gives me some entertainment news. And uh, at the bottom, I have a Toy Story 3 banner. Toy Story 3 is an awesome movie that uh, Disney's putting out uh, in June. And uh, so I click on that banner. I've seen it. It's really good. <laughs> and so you click on the, on, the, on the banner, and we take over the screen. The ad takes over the screen comes down with animation. All this stuff is done in HTML5, by the way. Okay. 
It's really easy to do. And uh, you see animation, everything else. Now, you see that X up at the top there? If I just tap on that X, I go immediately back to my app right where I left off. So the user at any time can say, take me back to my app. This disappears, and I'm back in my app. So let's go explore this ad, right? which is really a, kind of a universe here. There's a snake in my boat. You know, so I can listen to the characters. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Golly, Bob, howdy. And I've got some videos here. Again, this is a little HTML5 gizmo that uh, is made available to you know, developers. And they can, just, you know, they can make their own stuff like this, too. It's real easy. And so I'm going to just pick a video here. And uh, hmm. me. <laughs> right? And of course, if I wanted to, I could uh, just turn this. 90 degrees and watch it this way. All right, I guess I have to say play. Hmm. Me. And again, this is all streamed video right onto the phone. And uh, they've included a game in this ad. And, uh, well, we've included a game in this ad. And, uh, <laughs> So here we go. This is a simple game, and I get to uh, look and see where things are. So that's fine. I'm not very good at these things usually, but I. So there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is this is good. So. So I've got a game. I've got posters, uh, and I can just tap here and have them as wallpaper. So again, the advertiser can just uh, give me some wallpaper for my phone. And uh, users like free stuff. Um, theaters, if I want to see where uh, the movie's playing, there it is right there. All right? We know our location. There's a theater. And uh, so I've got my location. And there's a Toy Story Mania game that I can buy right in this ad. I don't even have to go to the App Store. The ad can sell me the game right here. And I can push this button, and it'll download right onto my phone. So this is an example. Uh, of a new kind of mobile ad. Have you ever seen an ad like this? You know? Anything even close? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So let me, uh, let's go look at another one. Uh, I've got one here that's, uh, that's Nike. We love Nike. And um, this is, we made this ad up for their Air Jordan show, uh, shoe. Again, none of these folks are endorsing us in any way. We just love their brands and, and uh, love their products. So. This goes right into a video. Pretty cool, huh? And then, uh, so let's go ahead and look at, uh, I can look at the design or some photos. But I'm going to want to show you this cool thing, history here. And that, again, somebody built that little navigator, very simple. So this is the, the, the history of the shoe uh, starting in, in 1985. And you, just, you can just flick, flick through the different years and you know, see how the shoes evolved each, each year if you're really into this stuff. And a lot of people are. Um, you know. So again, you just see the shoe progress throughout the years. Pretty cool. So let's go back. And uh, here's Nike ID. This is a really cool program where you can make your own shoe. And uh, Nike's been doing this for a while, and it's great. And so it says, shake your iPhone for more examples. So I shake my iPhone, get another one. Shake my iPhone, get another one. And there's an app right here, Nike ID, that I can download to my phone. And it lets me build these custom shoes and order them from Nike right here on my phone. And if I want to find a store that's carrying these nearby, uh, again, it'll find my location and put up some places to carry the shoes. Right? So that's an example of what a Nike ad could look like. 